Good, happy Monday morning. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First up, Manchester police search for masked man who robbed gas station. Manchester police are searching for a masked man who robbed a gas station on Sunday evening. The man held up the mobile on South Willow Street near Weston Road around 6.50 p.m. Clinton to lead off second week for the first in the nation primary filling, filings. Democratic Hillary Clinton leads off the second week of official filings for the New Hampshire presidential primary, followed by several Republicans throughout the week who will be filing and making stops. Former Secretary of State, Clint State Clinton, is scheduled to file her candidacy on Monday at 12.30 p.m. at the State House. She will then head to Nashua for a discussion about the environment with supporters at the Radisson Hotel at 3.45 p.m., followed by a town hall meeting at Windham High School at 6.15 p.m. On Tuesday, Clinton will hold a Veterans Roundtable with the Crewman Project at 12 noon at the Dairy Veterans of Foreign Wars Post at 3.45 p.m. She will be at Dartmouth College to speak at the Center for Global Business and Government Speakers series. Also filing for the primary on Monday will be Republican former Virginia Governor Jim Gilmore, who is scheduled to appear at the State House at 11 a.m. Disable couple's car vandalized multiple times in Derry. A Derry couple said they've been targeted by vandals multiple, multiple times within the past week. University of New Hampshire installs AEDs in fraternity houses. Automated examinal deliberators, or AEDs, were placed in two fraternity houses at the University of New Hampshire Sunday night. Driver accused of reckless driving on I-89. New Hampshire State Police arrested a driver accused of reckless driving on Interstate 89. Crews fin finishing road repairs ahead of winter. After a busy year of construction projects, the Department of Transportation is gearing up for another winter. Veteran Day comes early in Plastow. The community of Plastow came together to honor veterans Sunday. Three taken to Boston Hospital with serious injuries after Salem crash. Three people suffered serious injuries in a crash Sunday morning on 
the southbound side of Interstate 93 in Salem. Arkansas's Travelers Campaign in Granite State for Hillary Clinton. Sunday was a beautiful day for campaigning, but very few presidential candidates were here to take advantage. Rochester man accused of hitting pedestrian. A Rochester man was issued a summons after an accident between a vehicle and a pedestrian Friday night. Newton police say screaming man high on synthetic drugs. Newton police said they found a man high on spice screaming uncontrollably. Rochester police officer swerves to avoid head-on collision Friday night. A Middletown man allegedly going the wrong way on Columbus Avenue in Rochester nearly hit a police cruiser head-on Friday night. A Rochester police officer had to swerve out of the way of the man who crossed into his lane around 9.30 p.m. Hearing set in six-year-old boys killing by officers. Nearly a week after two officers allegedly killed a six-year-old boy while pursuing his father's car in Louisiana, disturbing questions remain. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Monday. See you back here later. Goodbye.